This is experience talking. You can't train a muscle if you don't know how to activate it properly. If you don't know how to activate the pelvic floor, your pelvic floor training won't yield results. My name is Dr. Stefan Bundhock. I'm a board certified urologist and specialist in sexual health. I work full time as a doctor and in my office, I assess pelvic floors day in and day out. I do it externally, but also internally with this tool. Digital rectal examination is crucial for getting an impression of sphincter tone, pelvic floor muscle tone, and whether there are trigger points. It is also indispensable for assessing whether patients are able to activate their pelvic floor. Here's what I've learned from thousands of patients. First of all, it is puzzling how many men don't know how to activate the pelvic floor. With my finger inside the rectum, I ask them to squeeze my finger. Okay, I will leave out the ones who squeeze their own finger. However, a substantial percentage of men can't contract their pelvic floor properly. They do it wrong. Sometimes they arch their back instead. Sometimes they squeeze their glutes. Sometimes they activate their abs or they do a mix of these moves. Scientific data suggests that possibly one quarter to one third of men don't know how to activate their pelvic floor. This aligns with my personal experience. So, how can you train your pelvic floor when it doesn't move because you don't know how to activate it? At this point of the video, I would like to address an important topic. First of all, a warm thank you to all subscribers. I know your channel has a lot of fans and your loyalty supports and encourages me to keep creating new videos. I also know that I also have a loyal audience who haven't subscribed yet. See, this is a problem because it tells the YouTube algorithm that my videos are not worth promoting to new audiences. Likes, subscribes and watch time. That's the currency the YouTube algorithm understands. Being a creator is like hosting a show on TV. Just take any late night show on TV. There's a crowd in the studio clapping and cheering on the host. Well, I don't have an audience in place at my house, but I have you, thousands of you who watch my videos. So please give me some applause as you would do in the real world and like this video now. If you are not subscribed already, subscribe now. It doesn't cost you anything. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Once again, how can you train your pelvic floor when it doesn't move because you don't know how to activate it? Answer, you can't. You can only train what you can move. Pelvic floor activation isn't externally visible. When you do it properly, it feels like lifting your anus upward toward the belly button. Nothing else moves. If in doubt, film yourself while doing it. If you see anything move, you are doing it wrong. I advise you to book an appointment with a pelvic floor therapist to make sure that you can comfortably perform the movement before you start any training program. Most likely, you won't be able to learn this move from watching YouTube videos. This would also enable you to get an assessment whether you need pelvic floor exercises at all. Most men don't because they don't have any pelvic floor weakness. The exceptions are men in the advanced age groups and pelvic floor weakness due to certain diseases or medical treatments. Surgical prostate removal for prostate cancer would be a typical example. What I find in my examinations are normal to overactive pelvic floors. Pelvic floor overactivity is common in men. When placing a finger or a transrectal ultrasound probe is difficult, when the pelvic floor muscles feel hypertrophic and stiff instead of elastic, when there are tender spots when I press onto the pelvic floor muscles, these are the signs and symptoms connected to pelvic floor overactivity. Attempting to strengthen an already overactive pelvic floor with Kegel exercises is like adding fuel to the fire. It can make things much worse. However, if you don't know how to activate your pelvic floor, the damage will be limited. What you want is a functional pelvic floor. This means that it is strong yet flexible. As a rule of thumb, I recommend yoga to my patients. 
It improves pelvic floor flexibility while working on strength at the same time. It also promotes body awareness. Breathing is connected to the pelvic floor. Conscious breathing fosters pelvic floor wellness. If you think yoga is something for women and not for real men, please remember that in India it was traditionally performed by men. Even today, more men than women likely practice yoga in India. The right therapy for the right patient at the right time. That's important. I like Kegel exercises, but I am all against their uncritical application as a one-size-fits-all solution. In these two videos, I reveal why you should probably avoid Kegels. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.